Konnichiwa, Japanese Amo no Misa desu. Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you words related to speaking. So, to speak in Japanese is hanasu. Hanasu. If you want to say this formally, you say hanashimasu. Hanashimasu. So, you can say Nihongo wo hanasu to mean to speak Japanese. But when we ask the question, do you speak Japanese? We generally put the verb to speak in the potential form, can form, and say Nihongo ga hanasemasu ka? Nihongo ga hanasemasu ka? Formally and informally Nihongo hanaseru? Nihongo hanaseru? So these literally mean can you speak Japanese? So we don't really say do you speak Japanese like Nihongo hanashimasu ka? It's not very natural in Japanese. And if you want to say I don't speak Japanese or I can't speak Japanese, you're saying that in Japanese that yeah, if you want to say that you'd say Nihongo ga hanasemasen formally and Nihongo hanasenai informally. So in the informal speech it's normal to omit the ga particle so that's why I said Nihongo hanaseru and Nihongo hanasenai but if you say Nihongo de hanasu if you use the de particle then that means to talk in Japanese like you talk to someone in Japanese so if you want to say I talk to my friends in Japanese you say Nihongo de tomodachi to Hanasu. Nihongo de tomodachi to hanasu. And if you want to make this sentence formally, you just simply change the verb hanasu into hanashimasu, right? Nihongo de tomodachi to hanashimasu. So hanasu can mean to speak and to talk. When I ask my student how to say to speak, a lot of them tend to say you. But you means to say or to tell. So they are different verbs. Hanasu to speak, to talk, you to say. So you'd use this verb you when you want to say I said blah blah blah, he said blah blah blah. I have a lesson on how to properly use the verb to say you, so please check that out. So for example if you want to say my friend said Japanese is difficult, you'd say tomodachi wa nihongo wa muzukashi to itte imashita. Tomodachi wa nihongo wa it's okay to have two wa particles, by the way, in the sentence. If you want to say the sentence informally, you say Tomodachi wa Nihongo wa Muzukashi te itteta. Tomodachi wa Nihongo wa Muzukashi te itteta. So when you want to say, can you say it one more time or could you say it one more time? Informally, we say もう一回言ってくれる。もう一回言ってくれる。もう一回 one more time. 言ってくれる。I'm going to make a list on this, but てくれる means can you do something for me? So you can say ごめん、もう一回言ってくれる。ごめん、もう一回言ってくれる。Or you can also say ごめん、なんて言った? ごめん。to a close friend too. So, ごめん, sorry. なんて言った? That's the informal way to say, it. what did you say? What did you just say? ごめん, なんて言った? And if you want to say, could you say it one more time? Formally, you can say, もう一度言っていただけますか? もう一度言っていただけますか? This is a very polite way to ask, could you please say it one more time? For the informal speech, I use more ikkai, that's more informal. You can definitely use this word when you're speaking semi-formally, but when you want to be extra polite, you'd use this word ichido, one time. And then itte itadakemasu ka, the te form of the verb plus itadakemasu ka, is a very polite way to say, could you please do something? You can also say, もう一度言ってください. 
Then that means please say it one more time. もう一度言ってください。But you know, sometimes if you want to be more polite, it's nicer to ask could you please? <laughs> Or you can just say もう一度いいですかもう一度いいですか That's also a very common way to say. Could you say one more time? いいですか is a, actually a really good phrase because it can mean may I? So when you want to say could you speak a little more slowly? You want to say もう少しゆっくり話していただけますか This is very formal and polite. もう少しゆっくり話していただけますかもう一度 means one more time. もう少し means a little more. もう少し。And then ゆっくり means slowly. ゆっくり。You can say もう少しゆっくり話してください。It's okay, but sometimes it's a bit too direct. Like, please speak a bit more slowly. Some people might prefer being asked 話していただけますか So, although it's longer, it's worth memorizing that phrase. Informally, so when you're talking to your friends, you can say, もうちょっとゆっくり話してくれるもうちょっとゆっくり話してくれるもうちょっとゆっくり話してくれる So, instead of もう少し it's more common to use もうちょっと when you want to say a little bit more. In the informal speech, もうちょっとゆっくり話してくれる。So basically, てくれる and ていただけますか are the same things, but the level of formality is different. And there is another verb that you want to remember: しゃべる。しゃべる。しゃべる can also mean to talk or to chat. So if you want to say, I want to talk to you in Japanese, you can say, 日本語で話したい。日本語で話したい。But you can also use this verb to chat or to talk and say 日本語で喋りたい。日本語で喋りたい。But maybe some people think that's a bit too direct. If you want to say can we talk in Japanese? You can say 日本語で喋ってもいい。日本語で喋ってもいい。That's informal. If you want to say this formally, the verb shabere is not really used in the formal speech. It's best to say, Nihongo de hanashte mo i deska. Nihongo de hanashte mo i deska. And if you say, O shaberi, O shaberi, that means chatty. So it can be a positive thing or negative thing. Anoko wa o shaberi. あの子はおしゃべり。Like、that girl is chatty or talkative. If you want to say what are you talking about, you can say 何について話してる何について話してる You can also add no at the end. 何について話してるの何について話してるの What are you guys talking about? This no at the end just makes you sound more curious and you really want to know. If you want to say this formally, you simply change the verb 話してる into 話していますか So, 何について話していますか You should remember this word について That's how we say about. So, if you want to say British people talk about the weather a lot. <laughs> イギリス人はよく天気について話す。イギリス人は天気についてよく話す。Or you say, this film is about the war. You say, この映画は戦争についてです。この映画は戦争についてです。So, について is about. If you want to say topic of Conversation. We say, wadai, wadai. So if you want to say, I don't know what to talk about, or I can't find the topic, you can say, wadai ga mitsukaranai. Wadai ga mitsukaranai. 
informally and formally wadai ga mitsukarimasen wadai ga mitsukarimasen you can also use this word wadai like wadai no shoujin wadai no hon instead of wadai ga mitsukaranai you can also say kaiwa no neta ga mitsukaranai kaiwa no neta ga mitsukaranai and you should remember this word kaiwa as well kaiwa means conversation if you want to say to carry on the conversation we say kaiwa o tsuzukeru kaiwa o tsuzukeru so if you want to for example say it's hard to carry on the conversation with my girlfriend you can say kanojo to kaiwa o tsuzukeru no ga muzukashii kanojo to kaiwa o tsuzukeru no ga muzukashii if you want to make this sentence a bit longer like it's hard to carry on the conversation with my girlfriend because she only says yes or no you can say kanojo wa un ka un shika iwanai kara kaiwa o tsuzukeru no ga muzukashii kanojo wa un ka un shika iwanai kara kaiwa o Shika plus the negation means only. And you'd say about something negative, like she only does this, like, you know, bad thing. Not like I only love you. You don't use the word shika. You'd use dake. Misa dake ga suki. I only love you, Misa. And you can also say kaiwa ga tsuzukanai. Kaiwa ga Tsuzukanai informally and kaiwa ga tsuzukimasen. Kaiwa ga tsuzukimasen formally. So I use the verb tsuzukeru for to carry on the conversation. And this tsuzukeru is the transitive verb and tsuzuku is the intransitive verb. I made a lesson on these recently, so check that out. Literally means the conversation doesn't last, but you can use it like we run out of topics. Alright, I hope you learned a lot from this lesson. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And also I started streaming video games on Twitch, so please check that out. Thank you so much. Bye bye.